הקדוש ברוך הוא טוב, חנוכה שמח, אנחנו רוצים להתחיל עם הלכות על חנוכה, סימן תפרש פד סיב גימל, ברינזן ההלכה, which happens this year only once, which is going to be that in חל ראש חודש טבת בשבת, מוציאים שלושה ספנים. We know that it could only usually happen whether it's going to be in Shabbat Hanukkah, Shabbat Shekalim, or Shabbat HaChodesh. What does that mean? There are three times in the year where it could come out that Rosh Chodesh will fall out on Shabbat, and when Rosh Chodesh usually falls out on Shabbat, there's only two Sefarim. Obviously, there's the regular parasha, and then there's Rosh Chodesh. But when it comes out on Shabbat Tevet, which means Shabbat Rosh Chodesh Tevet falls out on Shabbat, or when it comes out Shabbat Shekalim, which is going to be the Parashat Shekalim with Rosh Chodesh Adar and also the regular Parashat of the Shavua, or when it's going to come out Shabbat HaChodesh, which is Rosh Chodesh, Parashat HaChodesh, and the regular Shabbat, you're going to have three different Sefarim. So the first Sefer, he comes here and he says, the, right, what are you going to do? You're going to read in the first Sefer Torah, you're going to read six Aliyot in Parashat HaShavua. So for example, this Shabbat, we're going to read Parashat of Miketz and we're going to make only six Aliyot in the first parasha. Uvasheni. In the second one, you're going to read one Aliyah, which is Rosh Chodesh. And you're going to start with Yom HaShabbat, just like you do on every Rosh Chodesh. Why? Since we say Tadir Vesheno Tadir, Tadir Kodem. So therefore, Rosh Chodesh will take more precedence than Hanukkah. Besides the fact that we also want to do the Aftarah of Hanukkah, and if you would do the Maftir of Rosh Chodesh, you would have to do the Maftir of Rosh Chodesh and not of Hanukkah. So therefore, but there's a few different reasons, but basically what we're doing is, the second one, which is going to be the seventh Aliyah, is going to be the Aliyah of Rosh Chodesh. In the third Sefer Torah, you're going to read the Maftir of Hanukkah. Right, we're basically going to read the day of the Hanukkah, which is going to be the, the sixth day, if I remember correctly, right, which is Aliyah Saf Ben Duel, right, Negad, and then you're going to have the Haftarah of Roni Simchi. Now what happens is, is that for, for example, for the Haftarah, we have the Minhag, that what we do is, is that we read the regular Haftarah of Hanukkah, then we read, the, we read, we add in the first and last Pasuk of Rosh Chodesh, the Haftarah of Shabbat Rosh Chodesh, and then we're going to add the first and last Pasuk of Machar Chodesh, because remember that this year, what happens is that Lamed, which is the 30th day of the month, is going to be on Shabbat, and then Sunday is going to be the second day. So therefore, since it's also going to be Rosh Chodesh, so therefore you read the regular Haftarah of Hanukkah, you add in the first and last Pasuk of Shabbat Rosh Chodesh, and then the first and last Pasuk of Machar Chodesh. So that's going to be to do with the Kriyat Torah. We did mention in the past, if you remember, that if we do, that the way that we do it is, is that whenever you have three Sifre Torah, just like when it's going to be four, Simchat Torah as well, that there's going to be three different Sifre Torah. What you do is, is that you're going to have that you're going to do the Kaddish only after the second Sefer Torah, after you finish the seven Aliyot, and then after the Maftid, just like if you would have two different, uh, two different Sifre Torahs, so you, or, you would not do the Kaddish after the first Sefer Torah, unless we do a Mosif. Now, many times it does happen that since it's Shabbat Chadukah, so you do do Mosifim. So therefore, if you do do a Mosif in the first Sefer Torah during Parashat HaShavua, then you will make a Kaddish after the first second the Sefer Torah, second Sefer Torah, and third Sefer Torah. I'll finish off by mentioning, like we mention every year, and I'll mention it also on Shabbat, the Sefer HaChalot comes and he brings out an incredible Segula, that whenever you're going to have, and this is the only time of the year, whenever you're going to come and you're going to have a... Uh, Shabbat, when you have three Sefarim that are coming out of the Echal, it's a very t- time of goodwill. It's a time of an Et Ratzon doing Petichat Echal. So therefore the Petichat Echal of this Shabbat is going to be very, very important. And then you also have obviously on uh, Monday as well, which is Zot Hanukkah, but that will leave for Bezrat Hashem for Monday, that will speak about it. But again, that this Shabbat is going to be a very important Shabbat of having all our Tefilot answered during the time of the Petichat Echal. Thank you.